Grace and peace be with you. Hi, my name is Mark. I'm the pastor at Sycamore Creek in Potterville, and I have a brief thought for you today as we continue with the New Testament challenge. We are on week nine. We're almost done. Great job. Keep it up. We're on day 57, 57 of reading the New Testament, reading John 9 and 10 and 1 John 1 and 2. And it's fun to read these, these letters uh, that we attribute to John and a gospel of John. There's a lot of themes that we'll see that fit together as we read those things. Uh, the brief thought that I have for you today is from 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 3, it says, We know that we have come to know him when we obey his commands. We know that we have come to know him when we obey his commands. Now, I think the, the truth that we see is that people who we, we know uh, they have influence on us. And, and particularly people who we, who we like and who we respect and who we trust, they have influence on us. They, they create a change in our lives. And how much more true is this true of God? When we know God, when we trust God, when we, when we give ourselves to God, there's ways that we are changed. And, and the change that John highlights for us here is obedience obedience. And that leads a question for us today. Are, are we growing in obedience? As we, as we read, you know, we're reading the New Testament challenge, we're learning all about God. Is that knowledge translated to trust, translated to obedience? I would encourage you to examine yourself today and to give yourself to knowing God and to do that through obeying. Listening to God, listening to God's commandments, listening to your conscience in the way God works in his spirit through your conscience and obey. Grace and peace be with you.